How y'all doing? Well, as he said, it's, a, it's an honor to be here. I was born at Baptist. I've lived in and out of you know, in Nashville my whole life. Grew up in Hendersonville. My family's here. And, uh, and so it's really cool to be here. I even grew up singing back backup vocals for like Willie Nelson, Alabama, John Denver. So I'm a true Nashville kid. Uh, but then I hit puberty and that career ended. So we'll, <laughs> we'll forget about that for now. But um. So the last five or six years, I've, I've been uh, doing photography. Before that, I was a graphic designer. I studied at MTSU. And uh, the, the photography thing has been really interesting because I kind of went from, from zero to 60. Um, six years ago, when I first started shooting, within a few months, uh, this lady called me from Hollywood. She said, hey, I represent photographers, and, uh, and I would love to, uh, love to represent you. I didn't know what that meant, and so I just said, I didn't know agents for photographers existed. So we, uh, we, we signed a contract, and, and the next thing I know, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting all these big uh, Hollywood things. You know, I'm shooting Sting, and I'm shooting these TV shows, and, and it's been really cool. You know, we all want, we all want success. We all want to do our thing, and, and, uh, but, but, uh, but before I go there, let me, let me show some of the work so y'all can visualize uh, what I'm talking about. Um, there he is. He, he has a bright future ahead of him. Um, uh, let's see. Kardashians, I, I was, uh, E hired me to go on set the very first uh, ep uh, episode and just document them. So this is before they were the Kardashians. They were just this family out in L.A. Um, let's see. Uh, Tim Tebow, I get to shoot athletes. Get to, I'm always getting to work with really interesting people. Uh, I toured with Britney Spears for three months as her tour photographer. Um, Mrs. Taylor, we went to the same high school, so I'm very proud of this girl. Um, Mr. Joel McHale, so th these are the type of things that I, that I go out and do. Uh, shot the show Prison Break that was on Fox a while back. Um, so that's what I do for a living, and, and it's been great, and I, and I love it, and I'll continue to do it for a long time. But what I found in my career is that I look across my industry and you think of your typical Hollywood photographers and, and or typical photographers in general and there's just so much me, me, me. Aren't I amazing? Isn't my lighting amazing? Isn't, aren't I a rock star because I work with rock stars? And, and I just look at that all and I'm like, so what? You know, like people talk to me and they're like, ooh, aren't you excited? You could become the next fill in the blank, the next Annie Leibovitz, the next whoever. And I just find myself at 33, well, at least for two more days. I'll be 34 in two days. But, but I've, uh, I've just found myself at this young age saying, you know what? That just means nothing to me. I don't, I don't want to get to the end of my life and be like, man, I toured with Brittany. How about that, you know? <laughs> um, you know, there, there's much more to me in this life. And if, if I'm going to have a platform as a photographer, I'm going to have fame or whatever we want to call it, um, I look at that as a tool. So how can I use what I'm doing? How can I use my gift to really make a difference in the lives of others? You know, if people are going to watch me, then I don't want to absorb that light. I want to hold up a board, and I want to say, thank you for listening, but look at what's going on over here. And, um, and I really wish that the rest of our culture would do that. I wish that our, you know, pop stars and our, and our, our uh, pop culture people, entertainers, whoever, anyone that has a platform, I wish that our country would start believing this idea of, I have a platform, but look what's going on over here. And so, you know, at the end of my life, I don't, wanna, I don't want my son to be bragging about who I've worked with. I want him to be bragging about what I've done with that platform. So, uh, so a few years ago, uh, actually three years ago, I was in Nashville and I called, uh, uh, emailed a few other photographers. And I said, I said, guys, what if we went, what if we just all got together at the local um, gym in East Nashville here? So what if we just shot some portraits of uh, people in need? You know, we, we partnered with the nonprofit, and we just took pictures, you know, just, just be a cool reason to get together, a cool reason to hang out. So we did that. We went and um, we had a great time. There were, we shot about 60 portraits that day, uh, 10 photographers, and it was amazing. And it was amazing what happened both across the camera to the subject, but also amazing what happened parallel to the camera um, to establish community both ways. And um, so after that, I posted the video on Facebook to show just whoever wanted to watch it. And what I was amazed by is that how many other photographers said, man, if you ever do this again, let me know. I'd, lo I'd, love, to, I'd love to participate. And so after that started happening, I was like, man, this, this is really much bigger than, 
than just Nashville. This could be a bigger deal. And so I uh, started planning and brainstorming. It was Christmas at that point, but I thought maybe by the next year we could really blow this thing up. And so uh, I worked on it. I got, a, I got a few friends to help me start designing a presentation. And so in August of 2009, we launched it on a friend of mine's blog, the video of just me explaining the idea. I just, and the idea is this. It's like, find people in need. And people in need means the homeless, the elderly, children at a children's hospital, army vets, the, the old lady next door that you've never spoken to, really just anybody that could use a gift at Christmas, you know, like how can we give to somebody? Um, and, and then not only take their picture, but print their picture, show them their value, show them how beautiful they are. So super simple idea. And the funny thing is, is I feel like when, when I pick up a camera for three different levels of culture, there's different things that happen. So, you know, when I, when I pick this up and I do this to a, to a celebrity, there is a... You know, for them, it's another part of their day. It's another photo shoot. A lot of times, it's a total drag. They don't want to be there. They're, they're, they're thinking they don't like their clothes or they're not, you know, there's all these different things that run through their mind. And uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just a nobody. I'm just another photographer in the middle in a sea of awesome photographers they work with. So there's like that line of thinking. And then when I take your picture, when I take uh, friends at a party or I'm at a wedding and I grab a camera or I'm, you know, where if you guys are just out at a, an event, somebody grabs their iPhone. There's all these things that run through our heads. So, you, you, you know, there's that moment of like putting your arms around your friends and you're like waiting for the awkward smile. You're like, but simultaneously you're going, oh, I wish my thighs weren't so big. Or, <laughs> or man, I shouldn't have worn this shirt today. I look terrible. This picture is going to be on Facebook. Or there's all these like things that go through our head. But there's also that moment of like, you don't really think about it, but there's that moment of, I'm special. Somebody's taking my picture. I look good. This is going to be online, and people are going to see me. You don't really think about it, but, if, but it does happen. Every single time somebody takes my picture, there's like this spark of magic that happens. And so I didn't really know this when I planted the idea, but what I've come to find out is that when you do that, when you take a picture of the forgotten, we'll, we'll refer to them as the forgotten, what happens, none of those thoughts go through their mind. Their only thought is, you want to do what? You want to take a picture of me? Do you understand how ignored by society I have been for my entire life? So it's this amazing, amazing, powerful thing that happens. And you talk about a sense of wonder. Could you imagine being 60 years old and for the first time seeing your own picture reflected back at you? We have uh, we've seen it over and over and over. So, so what happened is that first year I launched the idea um, in, in August, and just kind of just put it out there, um, you know, not knowing who was listening, not knowing if photographers would get it. I just said, let's find people in need, take their pictures, print their pictures, and deliver it. Um, we launched a website that I think I have up here, um, and I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself with the stats, but we just, you know, we launched this website and we started getting the idea out there. Um, and that Christmas, that December 12th of 2009, the idea, the event happened in 40-something countries. We had thousands of photographers participate, and it was just this crazy thing that blew up. And all I did was I came up with a very, very simple idea. I called a few other leaders in our industry, and I said, hey, can you help me blog this? Can you, I mean, can you help me tweet this? So this is no heroic thing I've done. This is a very simple act of... Simple idea, reach out to my friends in the industry and say, can y'all help me spread the word? Next thing you know, we have a global movement that, is, that has just blown up. Um, and, uh, and what happened was afterwards, I was blown away after our event because all these stories started coming in. And I literally, <laughs> I think I wore everybody out who was following me on Twitter because I was just blown away by these stories. I really, I knew it was powerful, but I didn't know it was this powerful. And so um, what I'm going to do is just read you a few stories. I'm going to show you a picture, too. And before I get to that, let me also explain. It's, it's powerful that people did this because the idea is to not show the pictures. You're going to go do this selflessly. You're going to go take the pictures and then not show them. Because a lot of times photographers will go shoot the homeless. They'll go shoot whoever, and they're like, yeah, 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 I gave back. 
but did you notice my lighting? Did you notice my cool, my cool post-production? So this was completely counterintuitive for photographers to say, yeah, go take amazing pictures, but give them, and that's it. Just give it away. Total selfless act. And so that's why I was so blown away that, that the, the world responded, that photographers responded to this idea. So the stories started coming in, and they sounded a lot like this. One guy in Germany said, I'm going to make this a lifestyle and not just a one-day event. Uh, somebody in Pennsylvania said, one of the women photographed our event wasn't originally planning on attending, but decided to have the portrait done so she could send the photo to her incarcerated son, who she hadn't seen in many years. She wrote, Mom loves you on a piece of blank paper and held it up during her portrait. Brian from the Philippines said, a 78-year-old 70 year lady was crying and saying how thankful she was because the last time she had makeup done was when she was 18 years old. That's another thing we do is we, we do their hair and makeup, we feed them, we bring blankets, we bring food, whatever we can do to fully pamper them for the first time in their lives. And uh, women, can you imagine being 40 years old or 60 years old and somebody touching your face for the first time, somebody applying makeup to your face, eye makeup, whatever it is, could you imagine the power of that, of going your whole life and being trained to think, I'm not beautiful, I'm not special. Uh, somebody here in Nashville said, Help Portrait reminds me of why I became a photographer. Um, somebody in Ohio said, What could have been a charity outreach evolved into a party for the well-off and homeless alike. A series of moments lit by love and grace. One of my favorite things the lady said is, uh, What's that thing they do on the red carpet? Um, a couple quick stories. Here in Nashville that first year, there was a girl who, when she was a kid, her father would, would abuse her by dumping acid on her face. And so at 11 years old, she would be abused with acid. So she had all these facial scars, all these terrible things that had been done. So her whole life, she dreamed of having a professional portrait done with enough hair and makeup to cover those scars. And so at 36 something uh, years old in Nashville, we were able to give her enough hair and makeup and cover those scars for a real picture. And as you can imagine, tears were flowing. Um, I am going to show one picture to show the, the, the impact. Well, two pictures, actually. Father-son story. This guy said, I know we're not supposed to share our pictures with the Internet world, but I just had to share this picture with you. Um, this is what Help Portrait is to me. This father and son have been separated for years because of the father's alcohol problem. They were reunited for weeks before this picture, after 15 years, never had a picture taken together. Makes me cry every time I think about it. And so, now at this point, we've taken, around the world, over 100,000 portraits. And so imagine that moment times 100,000, and it's pretty amazing to see what happens. Um, one more story before I show the video. Um, well, you know what? I'm just going to show the video. We're running out of time, so let's go ahead and look at that. This is what Help Portrait looks like. Help Portrait is a gift. It's love. 
Help Portrait is an answer to prayer. Wonderful. I felt valued so much. That's what Help Portrait was for me. Now I can look at a picture of myself for the first time and not hate the way that I look. This is all about people just giving what they have. Well, we want people to understand that they're beautiful, that everybody's beautiful. Props to Jeremy for like coming up with something and using the platform that he's been given to, to rally these people together. You can't help us, Mom. You're loving it. <laughs> this morning they were so excited. It was like prom night, you know, getting ready. They were running through the hallway, especially Melissa. She sat there and it was like watching a transformation right from my eyes. I've never been able to do nothing like this. Never. It's just amazing. A beautiful, special. I've never felt, felt special before. 53 years old, never had a picture taken, uh, except for CJC. What is CJC? <laughs> Jail. <laughs> a lot of these guys, they'd come from a job, they were walking in to grab a meal. And it was just really cool to see them between trying to make ends meet and getting their meal and getting back to the job. For a moment, um, they were the football player that they wanted to grow up being, or they, wanted, they were the musician, or they were the rock star. How does it make you feel? Special. <laughs> no, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's good tears. I wonder so what I just want to thank you guys so much. This is like something to proud to send home. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Absolutely. So glad we can have that. Thank you. I just wanted to say one last thing. Uh, what gets me excited is to wonder how you guys can duplicate this in your industries. What can you do to use your gift to give to people who have never been paid attention to, who have never been noticed? It's not about photography. It's just about using your tool. So I think any of you can do this. And... Uh, a powerful example to me is maybe you just walk over next door, you teach the old woman next door about social media, and you teach her how to use a computer, you teach her Facebook. She's reconnected with maybe an old flame or old friends from high school, and within 30 minutes of your time, you've changed her life. That's what this is about, is just encouraging y'all to reach out, find people in need, and give back. Thank you.